Hello, I'm Matthew Carter. And I'm Michael Hesson. And this is our automation final project, the Robo Burger. The basic overview of our project is pallets will enter the work cell one at a time. Upon reaching the designated holding point, if the system is in automatic identification mode, based off of the filled out punch card the system uses, an auto ID vision camera to upload the information to the robot. If the system is in manual entry mode, the user can order up to five different orders on the HMI that will be executed in the order they were entered. Power will then be jogged to the robot upon where the robot will perform a picking and placing operation using custom tooling. The robot will also perform a variable writing operation where it will write it on the order sheet whatever was selected. The PAL then exits the system and a new one enters repeating the sequence again with the next order. But why did talk about it when we can show you? This is the brains of our operation, the Allen Bradley Control Logics PLC, which is connected through a DH Plus network to our Panel B1000 human machine interface and through an RIO network to our robot and Flex IO system used to control all the inner workings of the work cell. It's also connected through an Ethernet network to our laptop for easy programming and revision. This is the PanelView 1000, the HMI. Uh, we use it to control the work cell in manual mode. Um, we also use it to monitor it in automatic mode, as well as to use it for the manual entry mode. This is the FANUC M6IB robot used in our project for picking and placing operations as well as writing operations. This is the Flex IO chassis which communicates with the Control Logics PLC for operation of all work cell conveyors and solenoids and for sensing of all work cell proximity sensors and photo cells. This is the Vision Camera Automatic ID used for automatic identification of all entered order sheets. This is our panel view screen right here. Uh, this is our main menu. Uh, there's various different options you can do. You can go to the manual mode screen, automatic mode screen, manual order entry screen, the automatic order entry screen, works on status screen, and the entry conveyor screen. First we'll go to the manual mode screen. From here, you can control the lift locate, the lift transfer unit, pre-stop to the work style, the conveyors forward and reverse, as well as the entrance conveyor forward and reverse. To set their speed, you have to go to the entrance conveyor screen. From this screen, you can select whether it's a frequency or percent. If you select frequency, you can go down here and there are six options, one through six. On the other side, the exit, or select, select, select it and pretend. Go down here, set control speed, and I'll run it at 50%. Now that that is set, I can go back to my manual screen and run my conveyor in forward and reverse. Back to the main menu. The automatic mode screen. From the automatic mode screen, I can select what type of indexing I'd like to do, whether it be push button, time, or event. I can also select whether I'd like to bypass the robot or not, or pause it while it's in motion. On here, there's also a robot status display, which will show you what the robot is currently doing. There's also a cell display, which will show you what is currently going on in the work cell at the time. Here's where you select manual order entry, either manual or automatic, simple as that. And push button, there's the push button to step it. You can go to the next step. And there's the reset in case if you've gone too far. Over here, there's also a FIFO full, so that if you're in manual entry mode, you'll know if it's, too, if it's already has five orders. Here's the manual order screen. You can select up here your whole wheat or your white, lettuce, tomato, pickles, and cheese. To enter an order, you select what you like, and you choose order numbers to keep track when there are multiple <laughs> customers that sell. So. If your order number is good, which cannot be zero or repeated, press the load button and your order will be loaded in. Over here, you can see there is order five, four, three, to one, which are all waiting to be made. 
down here into the final order that is currently being prepared in the workshop. Automatic order screen. Here is a simple display showing what would order, whether it be a white or whole wheat bun, cheese, lettuce, pickles, or tomatoes. If it's red, it was not selected. If it's green, it was. Work cell status screen. From this screen, you can see the entrance conveyor speed when you're in automatic mode. You can also see various fits that have some importance, whether they are red for zero or green for one.